All right, guys, uh, we've got an exciting new product announcement here from LOJ Conversions. It's a brand new transmission adapter. A lot of people in the Chevy LS aftermarket are looking for transmission options other than running a T56 or a T56 Magnum transmission. And a lot of people also know that Nissan offers some manual transmissions that are very strong, um, they take a lot of abuse, and they're fairly inexpensive, especially when compared to T56 and T56 Magnum transmissions. LOJ for years has been offering transmission adapters for the 300ZX 5-speed manual transmission and the 350Z and 370Z 6-speed manual transmission. But today we're introducing a new transmission adapter for the Nissan Frontier pickup truck 6-speed manual transmission. Now these transmissions were offered from 2005 and on in the Nissan Frontier pickup trucks. They are a 6-speed manual. Even though it's a transmission out of a pickup truck, the architecture inside this transmission is the same as a Nissan 350Z CDO series transmission, which those transmissions have already uh, earned a reputation in the aftermarket of being very strong, holding up to a ton of abuse. Seven, 800 plus horsepower is not a problem for one of those transmissions. And these transmissions are essentially the same as those, but in a different case with a different shifter position. The shifter is top loaded into the transmission instead of being remote mounted like the earlier transmissions that I noted, the 300ZX and 350Z transmissions. And that's important when you're looking for a manual trans option for uh, classic vehicles like C10 pickup trucks and muscle cars, because having the shifter relocated so far to the back just doesn't work in those vehicles with the seating position and the shifter position. We feel this is going to be a great option as an alternative to a T56 transmission or T56 Magnum. The way our adapter works for this transmission is we have a billet aluminum adapter plate and it's hard anodized. Um, these are manufactured in the USA with US sourced aluminum. Um, they are heat treated and the hard anodized coat actually gives the aluminum more strength, um, especially in the threads and all of those areas. Um, they're designed to pick up both the um, Chevy dowel pins for alignment and the Nissan dowel pins for alignment. And on top of that, you can see that this adapter is drilled for both the Gen 5 top bolt position and the Gen 3, Gen 4 top bolt position. So these adapters are available for Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5 uh, LS and LT engines. The adapter kit includes the adapter plate itself, as well as a billet steel flywheel. Um, we went with a steel flywheel on these adapters as opposed to aluminum for drivability for the types of cars and vehicles that these transmissions will end up in. Um, you get better drivability with a heavier steel flywheel. Uh, they can be resurfaced. They're chromoly steel. Um, you can see this flywheel here um, has been black oxide coated and um, the bolt pattern you can see is an eight bolt pattern. That's suitable for Gen 5 LT engines or Gen 3, uh, Gen 4 eight bolt cranks like you would find in an LSA supercharged application. The flywheel itself is designed to accept uh, a Chevy style clutch for an LS. The only thing special about the clutch for these adapters is that the spline on the center of the clutch disc is a Nissan spline for the Nissan transmission instead of a Chevy spline. So these discs are available with the, with the flywheel and adapter plate. Um, they're available in a host of different materials. Um, this is what you would call an FX 350 clutch. It's a segmented button clutch. Uh, it's for higher horsepower applications, but we offer these clutches in full organic style um, and also six puck, really aggressive non-sprung hub styles for um, higher power applications. Um, additionally, if this single disc clutch setup won't work for the power level you're at, we can also have custom made aluminum flywheels and twin disc clutches in both seven and a quarter inch, eight and a half inch or 10 inch twin disc setups. So we can essentially build a clutch to hold any amount of horsepower that you would make with one of your LS motors. Um, the adapter kit will also include a pressure plate to match this clutch. We also have available uh, different slip yokes for the rear. It is a slip yoke style, not a flange yoke, which again is beneficial for older muscle cars with live axles. They traditionally had slip yoke drive shafts. Um, we have yokes available here in both 1310 series and 1350 series. We also have a 1330 series yoke available, so we can essentially supply a yoke for you for um, any power level that you want to build for. Uh, the adapter plates include a custom pilot bushing, and this presses into the LS or LT crankshaft, and it has the correct diameter in the center for the Nissan input shaft. And it also includes a throwout bearing to 
to work with the factory Nissan clutch release setup, um, but it is sized properly for the Chevy pressure plate. The clutch release on these transmissions is a hydraulic clutch release, much like a T56 transmission. It is an external slave cylinder instead of an internal slave cylinder with a forged steel clutch fork. That slave cylinder is a 5 8 inch diameter, so you will need to size your clutch master cylinder accordingly. Uh, we can help you figure out what size master cylinder you would need to work properly with that slave cylinder. Uh, we have that information. Tilton, Wellwood, and many other companies offer master cylinders in a variety of diameters that will work with this for um, whatever you're building. The adapter plate allows you to use the factory GM starter. There's no reason to run um, any kind of aftermarket starter. The flywheel is designed to work with the factory GM starter. So it really just makes the entire setup as simple as possible for these applications. The transmission mount on these transmissions, you can actually bolt onto this bolt position on the back of the trans. Um, any Chevy, like energy suspension style transmission mount bushing, it's the same bolt pattern on the trans. So you don't have to go and find any custom trans mount if you want a rigid uh, urethane trans mount. An off the shelf energy suspension mount will bolt straight onto this transmission. As far as making a transmission cross member, um, any of the universal adjustable cross members for any platform that you might put a T56 into would work with this transmission as well. There are no modifications that need to be done to the LS engine at all for bolting uh, this adapter on. Um, like I said, this adapter plate works directly with the Gen 3, Gen 4, and Gen 5 LS and LT motors with no modifications to the engine block. Um, the back of the adapter plate is clearanced for the high pressure fuel pump that is on the rear timing cover of the Gen 5 motors. It'll clear the, the rear um, engine cover on the Gen 3, Gen 4 motors as well. There is one modification required to the transmission itself to work with the adapter plate. The starter position on the LS motor is slightly different than the starter position on the Nissan Frontier. So there are some casting ribs on the inside of the bell housing uh, right here that would need to be ground and removed to clear the snout of the GM starter and the instructions cover where that needs to be ground out. But you're basically this, this area right here, you're gonna cut out so that the snout of the GM starter can fit inside this bell housing. And I wanna get back to the gear ratios in this transmission. I had said earlier that this transmission is a single overdrive. So it's a six speed manual with a single overdrive whereas a T56 transmission is a six-speed manual with a double overdrive. So what that means is the gear ratio for sixth gear in this transmission is almost identical to fifth gear in a T56 transmission, and first through fourth in this is like a close ratio extra gear set as, as opposed to first through third in the T56 trans. Fifth is one-to-one -one in this, fourth is one-to-one -one in a T56. Why do I say all of that? Because if you want to have an extremely low highway cruising RPM using this transmission, you need to run a taller rear gear in your vehicle than you would if you were running a T56 trans. Now, that actually works out really well, again, for classic muscle cars and trucks. Say a C10 truck from the 70s or 80s that had a automatic transmission in it from the factory comes with a 3.07-ish ratio rear differential, which is very tall. Normally, if you put a T56 in that truck, that rear diff ratio is actually too tall to be useful. You can't even use six gear. You'd be cruising at 75 miles an hour at below 1500 RPMs. It's just really not a useful setup, especially if you have a cam in your motor or anything like that. But that 307 rear ratio pairs really well with the sixth gear in here, and it makes this transmission behave as if you had put a 410 in the truck with a T56. And we actually have a graph on our website. If you go to our website and check out the product information for this adapter, it overlays the overall gearing of this trans with a 307 rear on top of a T56 with a 410 rear. And you can see that they lay out almost identically on top of each other. Um, this transmission has multiple synchros in first through third, first through fourth gear, single synchros in sixth. Um, the shift pattern is a little bit different from a T56. A T56 has reverse far to the right and forward. In this transmission, it's actually to the, to the right, but you need to push the shifter down 
to engage the reverse lockout and then reverses to the rear. Um, there's no electronic solenoid for the reverse lockout. It's a mechanical lockout for reverse. You push the shifter down and move to the right and back for reverse. Otherwise, first through sixth is a typical H pattern. There's a lot of versatility here. And the best thing is the price on these transmissions. They're very inexpensive used. They're even very inexpensive brand new. You can go straight to a Nissan dealership and buy this transmission brand new for around $1,700. For comparison, that's a good price for a used T56 or a used TR6060. This transmission purchased used with low miles cost $400. So the cost of an adapter plate with a used transmission is less money than a used T56 alone, and you end up with a new flywheel, a new adapter, and if you option it, with a new start with a new clutch as well.